Hi Gemini, welcome to your general weekly reading for the 8th of August. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Present position, present expectation, unexpected, short-term future, long-term future, energy on the bottom. Nice to see some cards coming up, we've got some new cards in this. Your one of the later readings, what we've got left now, four of you left to go. Um, so that's eight done, isn't it? Eight down, first time we've seen him. One, two, three, four cards, three cards. Energy on the bottom, the Hermit. This is a time of self-reflection. It's a time of meditation. Um, just just sort of step back, internalise. You know, the, the truth is out there. And oftentimes the truth is actually in there. You already know the answer to the question. It's really hard doing general readings like this because I don't know what the specific question is. Very definitely the end of something, you know, in a traditional Rider Waite deck. This is a king with ten swords in his back. It's over, it's over, it's over. We're not talking about going from chapter seven to chapter eight. We're talking about that book is done and dusted. We're not going back to it again. You know, if it's a relationship, it's over. If it's a state of mind, it's over. We are done, done, done. Um, then the present expectation is the five of cups, which is card of spilled milk. You're looking at what you've lost rather than what you've still got. You know, this cup here is smashing and crashing, there's water pouring out, and everyone's everyone's drawn to that, the focus is on that. And I'm forgetting there's a cup here that's still filled. You know, even in our worst days, our lowest days, Gemini, you know, hope still remains. What's unexpected is there's a, there's a, an immense amount of um, affluence and security around uh, around yourself at the moment. So it's not as bad as you think it is. Uh, whatever that situation is so you know this is very definitely the end of something but that's okay you've got everything you actually really needed you know needs over wants everything you really needed is there ready and waiting for you short-term future there's going to be something that's going to come out left field this is the destiny card it's called the wheel of fortune in other readings but it's it's something that comes out from from left field you're not expecting it it's nothing you could do about it it's fate um I'm not a big fan of this card. I prefer the Wheel of Fortune, the idea that, you know, the train is in the station, jump on board. If you don't jump on board, then the universe will send you another train one day. It might be a month, a week, a year, but, you know, the chance comes around again. And it'll keep doing it until, you know, it gets, it, it gives you the result that you want. Long-term future, and by long-term, I mean sort of, you know, a week to three weeks. We're not talking years and years with this. This is the King of Cups. This is a card of high vibrational energy. I've been there, done that, you know, very mellow. I call it the kind of cool cat card. Um, so you're just finding yourself in a, a really relaxed space this week. So that's that's nice to see. Most of the other readings have been quite frictiony. There's been quite a lot going on. A little bit of community, a bit of support from others. There's not a lot of solo stuff in these readings this, this week. Um, but this feels like quite a mellow week. Just be careful, you know, that you, you don't get blindsided by this card here. And you have to see what, what remains rather than what you've lost. Horse Spirit, freedom is yours. Okay. Um, are you looking for freedom after the end of something? This card sometimes talks about, you know, having the affluence, having having enough um uh enough of whatever it is you need so maybe that's going to give you the freedom that you want you know sometimes we're constrained by you know family or mortgages or the amount of money coming into a house or whatever whereas if you've got this freedom is yours you've got the freedom to maybe do something a little bit different that's going to be nice yeah, we've got an ace of one there, which is a, a brand new start with real passion and enthusiasm. Something that, that you really want to do, really desire. Oh, we've got the five again. So this is the traditional read for the five of cups. So again, you see this person here is not really looking down there, but basically there are the, in a traditional reading, he's looking at the three cups, pardon me, that he's lost rather than two that still remain. Castle's in the distance here, and it's a bit sort of, Oh, woe is me, I've lost my way, I don't know the way home. And it's like, well, it's just there, man. Yes, but how on earth am I going to get over this raging river? Just use the bridge that's over there, man. You know, the the, the universe is kind of breadcrumb trailing everything for you and you're still going, but it's, you know, oh, woe is me. What I really like about this card, unusually, is that the cloak that he's got here 
when he does set off for his destination, these two cups are going to fall over as well. Not sure what that means. Whether uh, I don't think any of these illustrations are done accidentally. You know, there's blue liquid and red liquid, so that's really wine and water. You know, to me, there's a reason that, that they're drawn like that. There's a reason there's a cloak under here. Just feels to me like he, he's almost thinking nothing serves my purpose. I don't know how to get home. And it's like, but it's just there. The answer is right in front of you. That's what that is. Yeah. And the answer is right in front of you. And if you do find the answer to that, just joyful celebration. You know, these three people are really celebrating each other's success or your success. Fantastic. Fantastic end to the week. So, yeah. Go celebrate the success. This is fantastic. Freedom is yours. Just do it. Okay, Gemini, I will see you in a week's time for more of the same. Take care.